Good day to everyone. I'm Mad Guantamad and welcome to another video here at Malolos Channel. For today's video, we are going to update you on the progress of a two-blow bit system somewhere here in Bacor, Cavite. So follow me to the system to start the walkthrough. It's a bit tight here, so be careful. So to start our walkthrough, let's look at our fish tank over here. We have some commercial feeds over here. Let's try to feed the tilapia. Let's see if they're hungry. These are just commercial uh, floating pellets. So let's zoom in on the tilapia. The tilapia are a bit shy. So the system is uh, around three months old. No? So the tilapia are now big. They are about three inches. We brought them as fingerlings. So in the span of three months, they're now around four, three to four inches, okay? So we provide our fish tank with uh, aeration by uh, the compressor on the left side. And we also have a backup aeration on the right side. So that's a 120 hour uh, back, backup uh, aerator that is automatically, it, it will automatically turn on when the power is cut off. So let's try that. No? Uh, let me see if I can reach the power on the far side. So this is the power switch for that. Let's see if it will turn on if we unplug it. To simulate. So it's now starting to bubble. Look at that. It's now starting to provide the emergency backup aeration uh, when the power is cut off. So let's return the power back on. So this is the plug. Let's turn the power back on. Okay. So now it's in charging mode. So it's continuously charging when the power is on. And now yeah, it's it will turn on if the power is off. So you can manually, also you can manually turn it off or turn it on with the press of the button. You can also sub subtract air or add air by the plus and minus uh, button. Okay. So we also have a sensor here. So this is the sensor we added to the system. So the TDS right now is at 197. So that's a low TDS. And the pH is now 7.4. Before it was around 8. Now it's slowly going down because of the nitrification process. Uh, and the temperature here is 28.6 uh, degrees Celsius. Okay. So from the fish tank, we have a solid lifting outlet over there. I don't know if you can see it here. Uh, let me just go there. It's a bit tight here. So, there. Okay, so this is the solid lifting outlet. Then, from the solid lifting outlet, it goes to our DuraFlow uh, mini filter. So, the DuraFlow mini filter has a static uh, bed or a radial flow in the center, a static media bed at the next stage, another radial flow here and a moving bed bioreactor on the outer stage. Uh, later, we'll show you how do we maintain this uh, grow bed. Okay, then from the, grow, uh, from the filter, it will now exit our floating raft over here. So this is the floating raft. So we started, uh, they started to grow, uh, to put lettuce seedlings. So it's a bit leggy right now because of the rainy season, but the owner decided to add some more uh, roof tiles or some more additional roof, clear uh, roofing to add more sunlight in the area. The gravel bed on the other side, however, is uh, growing nicely. We have uh, okra here. So we have a small uh, okra fruit here. We also have a nice basil, sweet basil. We also have tomato here. So the tomatoes now are flowering. I don't know if you can see the flowers on the other side. So let's look at the flower on the other side. So they're starting to flower now, okay? So we also have mint here and some paragon on the inner part of the gravel, of the gravel grow bed. So the gravel grow bed has a bell siphon. So from the bell siphon, it will exit back to our floating raft over here. And in the floating raft over here, we have our pump. So let's look at the pump. Let's zoom in on the pump. So the pump here is a very small pump. Let's look at the wattage. Let's see if I can read the wattage. It's a 55 watt pump. So
So this pump is capable of running even a 10 groben system, okay? So in the future, if they, if they decide to add another uh, layer of grobeds here, they can use the same pump, okay? So let's now go down here, uh, the, uh, the ground level, and let's now look at the bottom of our DWC. So again, you slide your uh, raft slowly. You put this aside first, okay? And then uh, let's look at how how the solids uh, has built up on, at the bottom of our uh, DWC. So it's very simple to clean your DWC. You just get a hose. You place it inside your uh, DWC and you lower it. And as the air is displaced by the water, you can see it by the, bubble, by the bubbles, you put water inside your hose, okay? So you have water there. You cover both ends of your hose. You get a pail. It is a five gallon, gallon bucket. You put the end of the tube inside your uh, DWC and you release simultaneously. Okay, by releasing simultaneously, you add a suction here or you do a siphon here. So let's look at how strong the suction is. So the, the suction strength is controlled by the height or the difference in height of the DWC and of the collection bucket. So as you can see, it has a very strong siphon. Okay, look at the hose as it siphons off the solids from your DWC. So that's a very strong siphon. And let's look at the other end. How, how much solids we are siphoning off. That's a lot of solids over there. So when your bucket is full, you just lift the other end to cut off the siphon. And we'll put this bucket in our mineralization uh, tank over here. So we have a tank over here. Let's uh, go over here. Let me see if I can climb this part. Okay. So we have a mineralization tank over here. Let's see if we can zoom in on the mineralization tank. Okay. So this is just a, an ordinary uh, container with an air stone. So this is your air stone. Now we will add our uh, solids from our uh, DWC inside. Okay. So we just dump it there. Okay, so we let that uh, mineralize for 48 hours up to a month, depending on how much uh, nutrients you want to extract in your system, okay? So let me go down first. So to recap, let's replace our raft on the... So to recap, to maintain your DWC, you only need a hose and a bucket and a container to remineralize your uh, solids. So we also have uh, new seeds over here. So uh, these seeds are imported from, I think, the Netherlands. I cannot pronounce the the brand of the seeds. So the nice thing about these seeds are they are, let's open one. The seeds are pelletized. So let's look at one seed here. There, so these seeds are pelletized. Let's zoom in on the seeds. Because they're pelletized, let's put the seed here. So you can see, you can better see the seeds. So. These seeds are pelletized. So what does it mean when it's pelletized? It means that uh, they germinate, uh, the germination efficiency is higher, they germinate quicker, and they're protected from the environment, and you can use a vacuum seeder. 
So in the future, we will design a vacuum seeder to automatically uh, place one seed inside each net pot without uh, manually adding one. So it's hard to place seeds manually. So for example, this is a net pot. Let's look at for an empty net pot. So this is an, a net pot. You put one seed inside, and then you cover it with uh, vermiculite or pumice. Okay, and then you put it here. So because we have pelletized seed, seeds, you can use a vacuum seeder to do that process. Okay? So, if you want to learn more about aquaponics, uh, we have a Facebook page, Bonjour Aquaponics. You can contact us through Facebook. Uh, you can also comment your questions below on this video. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe the Madodo channel on YouTube. And hit the notification bell to be updated on our future videos. Again, thank you for watching.